going on, guys? Welcome back to some more Earthbound. In the last part, we endured the desert and got back to Fort, got to Foresight. This part, seeing Foresight is not part of it. Since Mr. Since Mr. Gleg, Glegor Monotoli hit the big time, it's going to get to the city. So yeah, the Monotolis have officially taken a hold of the city. We have to kind of solve that problem. Oh, okay, the case we can call you the death. If there's any place I recommend calling your dad at this point in the game, it's easily this area, and I'll explain more later. So yeah, if there's any uh, place to, uh, to call your dad, it's easily here. Now, uh, there are new enemies we can fight in Earthbound in, the, in Foresight. I just want to see one of them. Because it involves the 1 in 128 challenge. I think they found more up here. Back to this guy who looks like Hal Pacino. No one knows anything, girl. Montelli's totally stole everything from me. He my house and land. We bleep. They're evil and incarnate. Lawyer, police, man, everything that follows Montelli. They're all his toadies. No matter how you play him, you can't win. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Just leave me here crying in my cappuccino. Noisy, nosy, yeah. Uh, basically, like, uh, it's pretty much like Biff and Alternate 1985 and like Back to the Future 2. I don't find a damn. Comes all the time, careful with money. Oh, I'm sure there's something here. I think it's right here. See the helicopter. That'll be a central. For there it is. There's the enemy. And, uh, I ain't gonna show it. Okay, and, uh, let me double- let me actually double check the walkthrough really second, because, um... Because I actually did forget the 1 in 120 arm and that's the cable dropping. Don't worry, I'll find it. I'm going on my phone right now, and, um, yeah, but, like, the Mad Taxi, they have a 1 in 120 chance of dropping the Exterminator Fray, which, uh, it's, is my knowledge, is the only enemy that can drop that. And let me actually look if it does. It, it experiences any bug based enemy by doing 200 points of damage. So I maybe recommend using that. It's the only enemy that can drop that. But yeah, it's this is one of the areas you can find that item. So yeah, like I said, Foresight is massive. The Dinosaur Museum, we can't exactly go there yet. Speaking of the top of the theater, it's a new singer called Venus. She's better than the one we found. I'm totally bonkers about her. What do you think those guys did for the buried gold? I think they found the gold. If they found the gold, it would be worth a huge amount of money. They'd be able to pay off a million dollars very easily. So, much like Tucson, much like Tucson. Remember Scream 5 when we went get to the Tucson Theater? Let's just say they've got themselves in debt once again. Do you want to buy a ticket? 30 bucks, please? Yes. Let's get the show, we can put out the show ticket. So, yeah, uh, much like in Tucson, the runway guy, the one of the runway five have got them in debt once themselves went in debt, in debt once again. You want to run a one five fan, huh? What? Excuse me? No, no. This man owes me a million bucks. If they break their contract, they will indeed do it with the police. The police will probably say, hey, you guys did something like that. You're not sure you're able to pay a million dollars off them? Yeah. You have to find buried gold. You are never able to find pays them a lot of money. Ho ho ho! Ho ho ho! So yeah, they went from owing $10,000 to a million dollars. The only cases of bands gaining a debt to like uh, record labels or venues, like I don't think even. See, I'm not like I'm not really like deeply in, involved with like the music industry. Like, there are cases of bands that get that much in debt, but like um, I guess it can be relatable if you're a professional musician. But I would assume when this arrives, the we're gonna fight for the So please come in. Another one in five again. We owe you guys so much. Sorry. I didn't even get cheated by the theater owner. We're stuck here with a phony contract. Oh, yeah. We're so helpless. Really helpless and helpless. Yuck, yuck. Me, Jeldor, Jeld, 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 you need your help. I don't know exactly why. It's just a hutch. We know how exactly. We know how to sing. We know how to handle money or women. Do up, do up, do up. 
Here's another one we found show. Now we got a bombshell to you tonight, kids. Uh, kaboom, the runway five. Yeah, three, two, one, go. So yeah, the runway fives have been cheated by a venue once again. So once again, we have to help them get out of their contracts. Oh, hi. So yeah, basically, um, we have to find some way. So fortunately, though, we kind of found that way in the desert. We're talking about guys. What happened? Those guys did for very gold. They found the gold and we're up in the So yeah. It's basically giving us the hint that we have to go back to the desert. Now, since we're going to the desert, I will say though, save at the hotel when you, before going to the desert, and I explain why. The next part of the game is by a long shot my least favorite part of the whole game. Because uh, let's just say party members can die and uh, you can't, there are no hospitals in the desert. There's no way to heal party members in the desert. The revive part was in the desert easier. If you have to get a game over, your party members are essentially dead and you have to get them revived. So um yeah. In case you get the in case we get the game over in this next part, it's wiser to basically just save at the uh Foresight Hotel. But we do have to come back from the desert. So yeah, the bus is gonna stop at uh, stop at the uh, desert. And this is the second time so far we've been in the desert. Now, Paula should be almost ready to learn a new move. Maybe get Paula, it's, if you're a novice player with this, maybe fight some enemies in the desert, get Paula to level 31 before doing this. Also a wise move, but uh, yeah. I will try to lay off my best advice on how to get here, how to get through this next series without dying, because like, I have known people, both in real life and on the internet, that have had runs that die to this part of the game. Whether people in, I know in real life have recommended this game to, or people have encountered like subreddits or Discord servers, like, I, I've seen a lot of runs die to this very part of the game, so I, uh, yeah. I will explain my, to my absolute best how to get out of this area. First of all, we're going to need as many refreshing herbs as possible. We're going to get nest two. As many of these as possible. Because uh, it'll save us using PSI healing. We're going to get Paula one and uh, here's another shot. Get, um, buy a bunch of picnic lunches too because uh, we'll also need those. That's step two. Buy a bunch of picnic lunches so we don't, so we can save the countless healing we'll have probably have to do because uh, this is no joke. We're gonna buy two more refreshing herbs and give them to Jeff. And we're gonna buy two more picnic lunches and give them to Jeff. This should get us through the next point of the game combined with our PSI moves because you want to use your PSI moves against the enemies. You know what I mean? Here we go. 
Here we go. Here we go. Because the mall playing rough and four and they run away. So uh we still have to uh move our way to the next area. We haven't we haven't seen Sunstroke yet. But yeah, I I very much recommend This is why I very much recommended to save at the Foresight Hotel, not at any of these areas. Because there's no way to heal party members in the desert. To revive party members in the desert is what I mean. There are no hospitals. The closest hospital would be either Freed or Foresight, so save in one of those two areas. Oh shit, okay, I didn't attack. Oh yeah. Gap is now level 28, offense went up by 1, defense went up by 2, speed went up by 1, no baby, guts went up by 3, back went up by 1, oh baby, I went up by 4, luck went up by 1, my speed went up by 8. Yeah, we're gonna check to see what our levels are at, uh... Oh! Seriously homesick again! This is the third time! Oh my god! But yeah, if you another way to easier time to get Paul up to level 31, but uh, yeah, we are homesick. Thank good thing I found that out through stats. Oh, I need that, I need that, I need that. Uh we don't need we have a lot we don't need oh fuck. We don't need two defense sprays. I am definitely gonna need that. So unfortunately, this is gonna have to uh, involve. So we'll heal right here. Bring it messes HP all, all the way back up, and we're gonna we're gonna call our mom, and we're gonna get home. Like, it's a great thing I didn't go into this area all time, and that's a great thing. It's a really great thing. You notice how there's a giant hole in there now. So, get ready guys, because this is probably my least favorite part of the whole game. Now, thankfully you can't get sunsick in this cave, but uh, I didn't have a problem digging until this, I found a maze. Lots of monsters appear, so I couldn't proceed. There's a bit, there's five big moles. If I beat the monsters, I can continue on. But I think, I think I have a bleeding ulcer from worrying too much. I'm helpless to really do anything. Yeah, so this is all up to us. We have to but we have to basically fight five big moles. These are new enemies. These are the thirsty coral snakes. Now just can my advice for this point portion of the game. Conserve as many PP as possible. If these enemies don't have too much HP, they can get poisoned. They can poison you though. Again, don't really, um, yeah, the game came, but, uh, just conserve all your PP. And we're gonna use our first, uh, let's see, uh, she's our first refreshing herb. So we're gonna use one of Jeff's. So yeah, this, this is why I recommended buying refreshing herbs, as many as possible. Now, it's been a while also since I did this area. So basically, um, I'm gonna try Freeze Alpha. It's only 4 PP, we have 110. Okay, yeah, didn't bite with poisonous pain, so that's fine. You can use Freeze Alpha, that's fine, but like, conserve all your PP for the moles. Because, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, conserve all your PP, buy my profession herb, you should be fine in this place. I said this earlier, I've known people both in real life and in Discord servers and subreddits that have said that their runs have ended to this area, so I'm going to try to properly explain how to get out of this area. Don't have any problems using enemy manipulation either. Anyway, so, did this mole look familiar? I'm one of the masters in all, this is the five masters in all, we're all moles of course, I believe in the third strong song, let's take a best shot. This is the Guardian Digger. This is the, uh, this is a pallet swap of Mondemol. This is also gonna have a PSI Shield beta, which will deflect attacks. 
So we're gonna allow Nessie to be able to attack power growth. This is what you want to use PP for. You want to use Freeze or Beta or Freeze Omega if you know it already on this boss. We don't know Freeze Omega yet, but we should be able to uh, get out of this. We should be able to do this no problem. Uh, shield deflect the attack, and uh, yeah, so uh, we use life up, and this should kill him. Grand Digger became tame. Ness is now level 31. Oh, baby, offense went by three, so we by one. IQ went by one, max IQ went by one, max IQ went by five. Net Paul is now level 29. Max IQ went by one, max IQ went by one. And Paul realized the power of defense down alpha. I don't use it very much, but very uh, good. Now, uh, to conserve PP, I'm just gonna use Paul use picnic lunch on herself. And there's a IQ capital. I am going to use it on Jeff this time. And Jeff's IQ went by one. Anyway, so, um... Okay, so we did get poison during the fight, so it's time to build up the refreshing node. And I'm just using the PSI Life Up Alpha. I don't want to recover 99 HP out of that. <laughs> yeah, Ness is going to be the HP. For a lot of points in this game, Ness is pretty much going to be the HP hog. That there's, um, there's, um, basically, Ness is going to be the HP hog for a lot of portions of this game. Alright, so, um, what's in here? There's a big bow rocket. We're giving that to Jeff. We're giving that to Jeff. Sorry for the cut footage, but uh, sorry for the cut footage, but um, so I decided to take care of something. So, um, there's uh, something here, there should be a croissant and a picnic lunch. Great, there should be a there should be um, there should be another one up here. Any kind of goes here, a secret herb, yeah, too much stuff. Oh, shit. I shouldn't have gone for that. so I don't really give a shit. They can wrap around you, giving uh they can wrap around you causing uh I don't know what I'm talking about. These are the uh these are the newsmen basically just use a PSI fire on them. Fire beta. And they will do they're pretty annoying enemies from the thing because they can attack and uh, basically uh do some damage and, like Jeff's almost dead. present and there's a carton of cream but uh let's see um let's get rid of i need that bomb so uh get rid of the uh we need the uh we don't need that copper bracelet anymore I mean, there, this is the second i'm really the third strongest master we'll be showing now and it also plays the Sanctuary boss music, which I love this. I'm just gonna use the bomb on this and then uh, PSI Freeze Beta. No! Okay, 
damn it! It's not gonna be auto fight, but uh, yeah, this is one of the rare times you use auto fight when I know a character's about to. I get the I get the dialogue go faster. Jeff's now level twenty five, offense one point one, max defense one point two. Jesus, he almost flat out killed Ness. The gates capsule, so uh, we'll take that. All is now level 30. Oh, baby, offense one by three, max CPU by three, max CPU by one. Now, one more level to learn a stronger freeze attack, so maybe we can get up a lot, another level. Um, it should be another, the third one should be up in this area. Oh shit, new enemy. Anyway, these are the gigantic ants. They're like the already fought titanic ants, only stronger. We used phrase bait on the other one and, uh, shit. I'll save the big bottle rockets. I'll use freeze alpha and, uh, shoot it. They also can poison. And now we have protection against paralysis. I think it's uh, the other ones. I think the, uh, the egg is almost dead. We have, to get the end end. we have protection against paralysis, so it's another thing to get that protection data uh, that pen it back in uh, that pack that pen it back in uh, Kind of back in, uh, what am I trying to say, uh, Saturn Valley. We're gonna have to use up our refreshing nerds. Ness is now level 32, offense one by two, defense one by two, guts one by two, dynamic one by two, block one by two, max HP up by 23, max HP up by two. Anyway, so, uh, we're gonna use the refreshing nerd on, uh, this program was removed, uh, again, don't be ashamed if you have to use enemy manipulation because I've done this before. Teddy bear. Okay, we'll take a few hits. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna manipulate the enemy placement. That's better enemy placement. We didn't get a level up by this. How close is Paul to level 31? The Level she, uh, okay, 744 too. So next, uh, Mole does it. She's down here. And there's, uh, let's go here. There's a Kali stick. Paul takes it. There should be a Mole here. I'm looking, my Mole sense is taken. There it is. My strength falls between the second and fourth strongest monster. Do you want to test me? They famously find definitely say the third strongest master. Now, uh, I'm gonna use a PSI Mario beta and then a PSI freeze beta. I should take it out. And they're gonna be in pain. Yes, and this should be enough for a level up. Yes, now level 30. Offense number by one, that's, that's not the ideal character I want to get a level up out of, though. The point of defense, we're gonna give that to Paula. It's a step up from the coin of slumber, and, uh, yeah, she's the most vulnerable in this area, so... You basically want to keep Paula alive in this area, is what I'm saying. We lost the teddy bear also, but guess what? Paula's gonna get a level up. Paul's now level 31, offense went by one, defense went by one, speed went by one, guts went by one, but hammer went by one, human by one, luck went by one, master went by five, master went by three, and we're also proud of Freeze Omega, which uh, maybe that before coming in this area is what I should get across. I don't want to fight these enemies. I don't want to fight these enemies. I'm fighting these enemies. Jesus, I forgot the the uh, gigantic enemy can haul for help. Ness is now level 33, offense went up by one, max you by one, right, max you by three, max you are by three. Wait, there should be a, I think there's a two left. Jesus, that was a bad battle. All right, we're gonna heal Beta on Ness. Heal Alpha on Jeff. 
So uh, I think there's one more left. I don't want that enemy placement. I don't want that enemy placement. See, there's a lot of bad enemy placement you can get in this area. I don't want to fight five of these. I have to risk it. I can get a level up out of that battle. So, um, yeah, I think there's the other one. I forget how many fought. I think we fought four of them. So the, the last one should be under here. I could actually use that right now. Mm -hmm. I'm refreshing arms because I only have one, I only have enough for uh one more um we have one more refreshing arm. Well guess what? We can instant kill this. Yeah, fuck you. 14 lousy excuse from that. This should be the last one. I'm, th I'm thinking this is either the second one or the last one. We see a music change for the last one. I'm truly a third time around as well. I'm never going to be third of you. If we use PSI Freeze Omega, it will insta kill this thing. Once we pull it into first. Yeah, I will instant kill this thing. I'll go level 32. I'll hunt one by two, speed one by one, gust one by one, I one by one, massive speed one by three, massive speed one by five, Jeff down level 31, speed one by one, massive speed one by two. So yeah, there's one more left. And there's a luck capsule and uh, a platinum band. Ooh, I could give that to Jeff. That'll increase defense. There is one more left, unfortunately. I think I'm trying I'm trying to remember where it is. I might have not, I might have had to look up a map before I did this area. I wouldn't exactly say this is one of my better recording sessions in this playthrough. Alright, now we got that out of the system. So um I am legit trying to remember where that last one is. I think it's uh well, let's get let's get fifth war chance be no 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 okay good. Imagine we got a level up at a fourteen XP. That would have been fucking hilarious. Oh no. Did my big bar work on this? I'm trying to afford one more um one more. Jeez, that was a pain in the ass. And I'm gonna have to use the last of my. I'm just gonna use a uh, healing alpha. Oh fuck, I used the wrong move, and yeah, I'm half to use the, uh, I'm gonna have to use the, uh, refreshing herb. Can I add a refreshing herbs? Okay, Jeff has one. He barely gets rid of it. I'm legit trying to remember where that last one is. I think it's over here. It's, uh, that's the last of them. I'm legit. I might be legit lost. I think, um, I'm trying to remember. I'm trying to go off a memory base. No, I'm not fighting you. I'm not fighting you! I'm legit gonna game over when there's gonna one of these left. Oh my god, I'm gonna legit game over when I have one of these fuckers left. What's the only thing I can use? In bullshit. I have the croissant's my last hope. Croissant. Let's see what I can do. 62 HP. Alright, good. And let's see what the calorie stick can do. 56 HP. This, this can be a nail biter. This is a legit nail biter. Um, Horn of Life on Ness. Give one of our other Horn of Life. Let's give that to Ness. Because we can't afford, we need to keep Paul alive. That's the main important thing. Death condition is critical. Yeah, he's gonna collapse. 
I'm trying to legit remember where- yeah, Jeff collapsed. I now remember where that is- oh, no! I don't want any more battles! Oh my god, out of that one. Paul's gonna die, but like, uh, I have the Horn of Life that I bought in, uh, I bought earlier in, uh, Saturday Valley, and I knew I was gonna need it for this part. I now pretty much remember where that last one was, but the problem is, like, um, the problem is, like, I don't want to get any more core than enemies. That's why I'm trying to end and be like, like, I can fight these enemies. I did not have used the smack attack in a better time. Healing yeah, items too, so they do too much damage on the clock. I'm gonna try to see if I can run away. I'm gonna do the runaway strategy. Couldn't fuck. <laughs> I swear to God! I'm gonna game over! The worst possible time! Because now I remember where that last fucking one is, I don't have anything to heal. I have to give the picnic lunch to Ness. When I came to, I didn't. I didn't exactly come prepared as much as I thought I would because I unfortunately got dealt with bullshit luck. The ministry. Fortunately, though, I now remembered where that last one was. No, no, I'm not fighting one of those. I'm not fighting one of those. I'm not fighting one of these. Oh my god, no. Don't poison me, please. Just... <laughs> Game over. It's game over. It's game over. Game over. Just kill me. Just kill me. I'll see you guys in a long. What's going to take a few seconds for you and a few, I, I, at least thirty minutes for me. Now I'm run I'm back to where I was. Took five fucking minutes to heal everyone. I have to. I have to. Uh, are you fucking sunstroke? Wait. Like my day can get any fucking worse. Like um. Yeah. So uh, we're back to where we were, and uh, I'm trying. I'm just trying to remember where that last one was. I think it might have been around here somewhere. I don't want to fight these things. I'm not a refreshing. I didn't buy any refreshing nerve either, so I have to use the. I have to use Ness as a healing machine. We just have one more. It's really bullshit that like I game over because of bullshit luck when I had one of these moles left. Ness is now level 34. Often put up by one. Max HP up by four. Max HP up by one. Shield beta. Fuck yes. Don't want to fight you! Don't, again, I don't want to fight you! I just want to get done with this fucking area. Because like, once you get out of this area, the worst of the whole game is behind you. The interesting thing is in my practice playthrough, I did this first try also. But yeah, this this place is tough. A lot of Earth member ones died in this area. Uh. I think um, I'm trying to think. I 
think it's probably here. It's, it's like one of the few places I haven't looked. I, 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 it's really sucks I can't find that last area. Okay. I think it's in here. I think there's the one area I haven't looked. I, we already went to that area. Did we already go to that area? I don't want to fight poisonous enemies. Fighting poisonous enemies. Of course, a fucking horse. Keep forgetting that healing alpha doesn't work on poison. I'm trying to legit remember where that last one was. And I don't want to fight any of these! I'm looking at a fucking map. Yeah, I looked at a map. I, this should help. Oh, I don't want to fight you! the freeze beta. I don't care because I'm one of these left and I know where it is. It's like you uh, it's, uh all right so you go left towards here and down that's the one area I never looked. I'm kind of disappointed. I have to fight one of these. Use a, I'm just gonna use a phrase bit to end these fuckers because um well guess because guess what? Once I um made the longest video I ever post on this channel. I found the strongest kind of the strongest. Right, he is the strongest. We one more left. I don't fucking care. Alright, guess what? Deal with Freeze Omega. I don't fucking care. As long as it gets us down with this area. That wasn't enough to kill it. Of course, a fucking course. Thank you. Once you get past this area, the worst of the game is behind you. I apologize for this part. It's like... You know, here's a PSI caramel, so, uh, yeah, there's no more enemies, and, uh... Yeah, so, um, we just slow, actually, I got an idea, we, this is what the exit mouse, this is what I was saving the exit mouse for, we talk to the guy again, Derek, you could not have come at the worst fucking time, did you take it instantaneously, I'm a photographic genius, I didn't see myself, Hey, ready right, to right, murder. Right. The camera. Is it? Wow, we're getting photographed. I was going to make the finest of memory. Yeah. So, we talked to him again. We got rid of the monster. Good job. Okay, from here, just let me dig. You'll see. I'll find him where you go. First, I'll be in a careful plan of action. We basically just heal. Just, um, am I not even going the right way? Oh, wait, I now remember. I now remember. We have to go to Foresight. I think we were not very far from Foresight. I just want to wait to hit end recording this time. I have an hour and a half of angry content. 
See, like, uh, this is not one of my better recording sessions. I will try all I can to do, uh, like, what, to edit this thing, but, like, I don't know. It's like, once you get past the mines, the worst of this game is behind you for good. Yes, greetings. I'm Georgie, Gerard and Mar Montagu's brother. Gerard is his mine, but, uh, he hasn't found any buried treasure yet. We did, however, find it out instead. So, uh, yeah. This is what will get the Runway 5 and the stupid contracts. So, uh, yeah, next time on Earthbound, once he leaves, next time on Earthbound, we're gonna save the Runway 5 from their stupid contracts. See you guys then. Thank you.